Jackson. God can believe I'm doing this. So first, if you're confused, I'm using a, a CR Spy to mirror my screen to my uh, PC. So I don't have to use my phone. Now it's connected through USB, but I'll switch to Wi-Fi later in the video. So first thing first, I recommend you to delete all the bloat from the phone. Like everything, I didn't even leave the keyboard up as you can see. Uh, just use universal Android debloater. It's uh, really easy to use and it frees a lot of memory like a lot For me, it was five gigs and you also have more RAM and more CPU to work with uh, Secondly, you should use some kind of firewall app. I use uh, Riffing DNS also from Android uh, Thermox should be installed from Android by the way uh, I blocked everything so only Thermox has access to the internet. Uh, to install Fdroid, go to fdroid.org, download it and from there on it's just a simple Play Store like interface. So let's start. So in my to-do list I've written that uh, we should just install ZSH first with some plugins because ZSH with these plugins, believe me, will make your life three times easier, you don't have to type every command which you, you will do again and again you will just... it will make your life easier, believe me <laughs> from the experience then we will start uh, SSH and from there I will talk about it later Also, please do a PKG update and PKG upgrade before you do anything because otherwise you'll get some uh, errors if OpenSSL when you try to install OpenSSH and uh, it will be annoying, you won't find a solution. Also, what I did here is uh, I found, searched for the command to change my repos since uh, I was getting really slow speed so I changed to a local mirror. Uh, the command is thermux change leap or something it will be on the screen so look for it Here are the commands to connect through Wi-Fi to a UFS spy. So you can pause the screen and write them down. Now I'll be installing a switch and uh, setting up an, um, key pair authentication because uh, I don't know why would you use password. But, uh, it's not secure if you use password. Here I'm using keypass 16 to save the SSH key phrase. So if you do something, make it secure, your box will be facing the internet, so it's not open BSD. And, uh, you need to make sure that at least your SSH is secure. Uh, you need to grant access to your storage because I because I moved my key through SR Spy to my phone, so it will be in downloads. Now I can paste it in my authorized keys, and that should be it. Now I will be just editing the the SHD. Also, I hate Nano. I'll just use V because it's easier at least for me
And here we go, we are searching in our machine, we are copying the key and we are in. So here is one of our main problems, it's the first one, so I couldn't start uh, my SQL DF no my B, I changed, I just couldn't, it didn't work, I tried to change the config to use the port, temporarily of course, but it just didn't want to work, so I ended up just searching into it again, and uh, when I tried it, it somehow worked now, so I don't know what happened there, but now it worked the foot, uh, the footage is at four times speed so i don't know maybe if you have trouble slow it down uh, now i'm editing my cnf to use the correct path for the socket to make it uh, all of the sockets should be in uh, prefix var run because that's an uh, that's a rule all of them should be in one place it will be easier for you here I'm pasting uh, the commands to make a database from the official next cloud documentation also I fucked up this step badly. I ended up having to remake the whole database and the user. When you make them, be sure that your puzzle doesn't contain any upper or lower commas. Like, just be sure because if you can see my user and my password is between uh, those upper commas, and uh, some, somehow I fucked this up, and uh, with it ended up costing me extra, um, some extra 30 minutes of troubleshooting, so be sure that your password doesn't contain any upper co commas, okay? Uh, so now we are gonna install what makes this thing possible, we are gonna use Prut. It allows us to have an Ubuntu-like environment with all of the Arch64 packages from Ubuntu uh, because uh, we do not have these packages in terms and we need them for next cloud and uh, yes, this environment is not virtualized so we do not lose any performance uh, and yeah. Also, uh, what I forgot to mention from the start, you should use screen because if you SSH out of your phone, everything will be killed. So, type screen min minus big S and give the name like uh, you know, my main uh, session. And then you can resume this, your screen with screen minus R and the main session. We do this with Ubuntu as well, so we'll have a Ubuntu screen, like screen minus s Ubuntu, there's a screen for Ubuntu, screen minus r Ubuntu, we will resume this session. So when you SSH out, your progress won't be lost. Uh, this is something that I would recommend to everything that is accessed through SSH, just some basic Linux things, yeah. It's not your progress that gets lost, it's about the processes. For example, if you have, let's say, something unzipping in the background and you exit out of the SH window from your PC, that uh, zip process is gonna get cancelled. But if you do it on a screen, you exit, you search back, you resume the screen, and the zipping, unzipping process still continues. So that's what I meant. Uh, also to the 
To detach from the screen, you press Ctrl plus A plus D to detach from the screen. And would you look at that? We have a working next cloud. Well, so I thought until I saw that my database password wasn't working. I'm on the video editor right now and I see one hour of screen capture left. <laughs> And that just me figuring out why it doesn't work. So, if it doesn't work for you and it says something like create admin password, something like that, just give up and make a new database, a new user, delete the previous ones. Believe me, it would, won't work otherwise. I tried creating only a new user, creating only a new, new database, it just didn't want to work. Also, I have had to delete the root of the storage folder where uh, the cloud data from the user sometimes but just delete everything and make the database again believe me it won't work otherwise if you have something like create new admin passwords or something like that And here's the error I was talking about, it says that my password is uh, wrong, so I, I uh, figured out relatively uh, fast, but I'll show you the other error I was talking about, where you need to completely delete your database and make another one, another user with different names. Now I will, I will just go and uh, change my user password, set it back to something like test on free. So here's the other arrow I was talking about. If you see this MySQL user password not valid or something, create an existing account, just give up, give up, database, delete the next database, delete the user, make a new user with a different name. If it on the database with a different name, you can't use the same out, the same one because uh, MariaDB tries to rescue the data from it or something like that. Just make a new one, different name, different user, different everything, okay? And here we are in Nextcode finally. If you could have caught it, uh, you've seen that I changed my database name to Mini2, but it's okay. Now we are finally in Nextcloud. We are done. Um, it will run a little bit slow because you haven't changed the PHP memory and uh, didn't don't have yet a cache server. We'll, I'll show you how to install Redis. Also, here is how I resumed the screen. Uh, screen minus R Ubuntu to resume the screen. Control A plus D to detach from it.
So this error is really annoying, but it is it. Uh, when you see this, first of all, you should think Redis. It's a problem with Redis. Uh, after like an hour of an extensive debugging again, uh, I found out that my PHP dash Redis version wasn't the same. I should have installed the PHP 8.1 dash Redis. I installed only PHP dash Redis, and this fucked up a lot of things. So yeah, here is Redis in monitor mode, here it shows that it works, here is next cloud, it's working, it's cached. I'm gonna install Collabora online server ARM version to show what you can do with it. And that's basically next cloud. I would suggest running it through a reverse tethered router. If, like if your router has an USB port and uh, supports it, you can uh, pass the internet through the USB cable to your phone. I know that OpenWRT supports this feature and uh, also you'll charge your phone so no need for another breaking. So yeah, that's how you install Nextcloud on an Android phone. I think this is way better than on a Raspberry Pi and for a lot of reasons, like it has a battery which can last up to 3 hours maybe. Uh, it's powerful, today's smartphones are fully fledged and uh, they are spec'd up. And you can find them by a variety of phones compared to Raspberry Pi. <coughs> which is $100 and you can't even buy it. Uh, if you've liked my video, give it a like. It took 5 hours to make and if you have any crazy idea for another video, I'm open to ideas. So thank you everyone so much for watching and see you around. Now I can finally watch some Mark Pyre playing Graft. <laughs> I started at 3, now it's uh, 8.